This isn't what the aftermath of an earthquake usually looks or feels like. Haiti now is not just a tinderbox of simmering desperation and anxiety. It's possibly just one step from something very ugly indeed. I'm telling you the truth. Come on, 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 I'm telling you what they're facing are UN riot squads tasked with trying to keep the peace. Getting a job seems like a lofty ambition given Haiti's hideous predicament. There's nothing. We lose everything. Man, things difficult, man. Things very difficult, you know, because we cannot understand this, you know. Because everybody, right, it's not their fault. It's just their starvingness, like the people starving, people hungry, they don't have no place to stay, they don't have nothing. They're just hoping for something. All they can really hope for are handouts which will stop them having to scavenge. In the meantime, they scramble over an assault course of destruction to get at anything they can. To these people, a cheap silver bowl is like a pot of gold. And watch this. And this. Perhaps the US military should. They don't seem to think there's a problem. My assessment of the security situation is it is it, it, it is calm at this time. As you have reported, there are uh, incidents of violence. At least Haiti's broken police force have finally shown their face. Aside from having to cover up to keep the gut-wrenching stench of rotting human bodies at bay. <laughs> It's a good job more peacekeepers are on their way, because Haiti certainly needs it. Lisa Holland, Sky News.